All right, for all the newbies who want to learn how to trade, okay, this is a trade I just got into with NVIDIA. I'm gonna show you guys how to recognize entries with the clouds and a few other things, okay, that will help you kind of get more confirmation. So we have our cloud entry there, it turned orange. So we are under both labels here. The price action is down. Okay, I've set my stop losses. Uh, a little bit apart so that you know we won't get uh, triggered early because it is bouncing a lot but i know we're going to keep coming down so i'm gonna have to change this one probably take a little bit more profit all right so we were in a rising wedge guys and we had a fake out here okay uh there's a few things you need to look at when you are charting okay the first one is when the trade started to come back down that was your first support there okay then the stock came down okay and continued to go up and so on right so what i do is i just mark off the latest support which is right here and right here okay but if i was following it i could have told you that this was going to be a fake out okay and then you saw my green bar turn on which is the macd flipping up okay this is on the one minute so nvidia tesla all those suckers or those stocks do that they like to fake people out so that you buy uh puts here and the people that had calls sell and then the people that bought puts once it comes back up they sell so they literally wash everybody out here and then now they're coming up and it gets a little riskier and some people actually hold and they don't know when to get out. Okay. The cloud will tell you if you get in trouble with a fake out, if you cross the cloud guys with one candle, get out. Okay. Live to fight another day. Okay. So we are seeing some profits here, uh, but the wedge, okay. We do have a measured move here. Okay. And so I think we're going to come down to about four oh two four oh three area so we'll be uh, humble and we'll put it down at 403 uh let's see if uh, we continue on our way down now another confirmation is besides it losing support and now we are under the cloud we also have the macd flipping on the way down so if you guys know how i trade I don't use the color red. I use the color orange just to make it a easier decision making on your psychology because red does trigger a lot of emotions, guys. Uh, so that's what we got here. Uh, so right now, the confirmation for me is the cloud twisted. We have the MACD to flip and we broke the wedge. And we have our measured move here so that we can see about how far nvidia is going to come okay now what's another thing that tells me nvidia is going to continue to come down okay watch the cloud rejections okay so on the reverse side if you guys watch my other videos i talk about the stock price being rejected at the cloud right here's another example came down into the cloud rejected came up rejected on the cloud came up didn't touch the cloud so you're in good shape and then here rejected one time and then this time it didn't reject okay it kept going down went past support and now it's here now you have a cloud here and it's rejecting for now okay now what happens if the trade jumps up okay well guys if you've taken my courses you know that we have an area we know it's not going to come back to, okay? The cloud is your first guide, okay? Then your next guide is these wicks here. These long wicks tell you there was a lot of selling pressure. And as the buyers are buying, okay, the bears are selling off. And so you're getting this right in here, okay? A lot of wicks on the one minute. They're getting a little bit bigger than normal. So 
Let me show you something else that I look at when I'm trading and it's where is the stock consolidating? Okay. It's right in here. My expectation is that Nvidia is going to bounce here. It can bounce all at once, but it's going to come back down. You have that MACD. We're under the clouds and we have every bearish indicator that tells us we are going to continue down. Okay. So we're going to wait for this a little bit and see it play out for now. We also see the VIX up here. The VIX is still green for the day, even though Nvidia went down a lot and it made a move back up. Okay. It's bearish. Check it out. You know, you're getting these long wicks on the one minute. So, uh, be careful whenever you see this guys, because this is a consolidation area and then the stock will fall. I'll show you another one. Okay. They can be as small or as big as the market makers want. That was one right there. Okay. Now they'll also do it on the way up. <laughs> they'll consolidate the stock and then they'll jump up. Okay. That's a consolidation area guys. Let's mark off. <clears throat> excuse me mark off another one in here okay um and we'll mark off another one here and this one kind of went over a little bit there we go all right so then now you guys can see you know you have uh measured moves on the stock okay um this one here was one of the big ones Okay, so you can take these measured moves and then right where it stops consolidating, okay, you can go through, okay, and see this is about the highest is going to come. So that tells you when it's probably going to either continue on or flip. It did have some consolidation up in here, but it got rejected really bad, okay. Um, so that's a small area. You don't have to be right on the wicks, right? Uh, or you can see we had another one right down in here, a small one, then it popped up. So lots of consolidation. So this is what they call selling the rallies guys. You know, they're going up then they sell the rally down, they go up or vice versa. Like here, they come down, they sell the rally, come down, sell the rally. And you can see they're trying super hard to keep this going. So let's see what happens. Uh, VIX is climbing a little bit. Uh, if you're an advanced trader and if you guys took my advanced courses, you'll see some of this in there. Okay. Look at VIX. Um, VIX is very, uh, watched nowadays because of what's going on in the news. And you can see VIX was climbing. Now it's showing a downtrend, but it's done that over here. Let's check a couple out where it comes down then up, down, up. So we'll see if it uh, continues there. Let's look at the five minute. Okay, five minute had a downtrend and then it bounced here. See that? That matches up with this area. So uh, VIX is coming up. And then this is a little bit of resistance. So it resisted there. Uh, if it beats it, it's going to come up. Okay, just depending on what market makers are thinking and what they're doing with their option trading. Okay. Here we go. We're trying to leave the consolidation area. Now we're coming back in a little bit. Okay. What can you expect here? Okay. I can expect if this really wants to take off, I'll just do a small measured move here. And then I can say, okay, if it pops up, it can make it right around my stop loss area. Okay. 408.87. So if it does pop out, it's going to go about that high guys. Okay, let's move this over a little bit. Um, so what do you do in this situation? Well, you have to have conviction. Okay, you're not going to win every trade. Okay, now with the clouds lately, I've been winning 87% of the time. So that means eight out of 10 times I'm winning guys. Um, why? Because I keep doing the same thing. You keep doing the same thing and you're going to do well. If you try to change it and you know, some of the things I've seen people do is okay. They didn't do well. Okay. You lost the trade. Then you stop. Okay. 
can't stop. Okay, if you guys watch my other videos, you gotta enter at every cloud twist on the one minute, five minute, 15 minutes, no matter your time frame. Stick to one time frame. Because what's going to happen is you're going to become a student of how far down it could actually go. Okay. And it's going to be different for every time frame. So <clears throat> be careful with that. Uh, trying to trade a whole bunch of different things. Okay. Now, the next thing I see is that people say, well, it's earnings. I think it's going to go down. Guys, if you don't know the financials, or expectations on the company and you haven't done any research, you're basically gambling. It's a 50 50. Now let's say you lost for the day and then you went to do earnings and you lost on earnings. Guess what? You're just going to be down and out and you're not going to want to do a lot of trading. Okay. So stick to one thing. Okay. We got a little time here before this goes down or up, but we're looking very bearish because now the VIX, if you look up here, it's 2%. All right. So let's look at what happened for the day so far. Okay. And what I'm talking about, guys, is if you're using my indicator, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to take off my MACD signals so that we can, uh, look at some of these cloud entries. Okay. So you guys can see at nine 30, when the market opened, we went up and then right around nine 38, we had a cloud entry here. Okay. Came down, came back up, rejected at the cloud. All right. Now I don't start trading until 10 AM guys. So, but this here, I'll make an exception because I already know what's going on with NVIDIA. I charted it the day before. I've been charting it every day. And if you're charting, you understand that it is in a downtrend. So that's one entry there. So NVIDIA turned back around at a couple of candles that closed above the cloud. And guess what? It consolidated. Okay. And now when it consolidated, it came down and it came back up now. This is a good entry if you wanted to go with some uh, calls or buy some shares temporarily, knowing that it's going to come back down. Okay. Here's the next entry. If you wanted to go in with puts uh, and all that good stuff, shorting it. Great entry. Another one here. It came up. Another entry there. Okay. So if you guys see, if I'm playing every entry, I'm going to have a high rate of success if I continue with this pattern. Now, if you're an experienced trader, you might say, well, I'm going to stay in. I got in here up at the beginning and we're down. What's that? About $10 with Nvidia. Okay. And then you say, uh, ah, I'll risk up until here and then I'll take profits. And if it doesn't make it up there, then of course you're going to say, Hey, uh, I'm staying in. Okay. Experienced traders can do that. Now, how can you do it if you're an experienced trader? Okay. Switch over to the five minute and take a look at that cloud. And you can see that the cloud is very bearish and the cloud is not trying to flip or curl. Okay. These are small curls. If you're an experienced trader, you know, to stay in. Okay. Uh, if you're a newbie, I recommend you get out at the first curl guys let me show you what i'm talking about we are talking about right there okay if you can see the clouds started coming down and they started curling get out here nice profit this is the next curl okay so if you decided to stay then you get the next curl now you might say well, why don't I just stay all the way down here? If you're an experienced trader, you know when to do it. If you're not an experienced trader, guess what's going to happen right here? You're going to make money. And then every time it flips and you get out of the first curl, you make money. It flips, get out of the first curl, you make money. Same here. First curl, you made money. And so on on the way up. You got in here, get out of the first curl. Okay. After that, we didn't twist orange. Okay. Not until here now. All right. So look at how many times you could have had some wins. Okay. Imagine playing 
the stock market every day and you have small wins let's say it's 50 bucks a win okay if you have four or five wins for the day it's 250 dollars guys that's over 50,000 a year that you'll be making okay now as you get more wins what do you do well maybe i add more okay because i'm learning I'm, i've been winning and i understand if i stay disciplined i'm going to win but if i start gambling and start saying oh no i'm gonna go to uh the earnings because i need to make some money back or i'm gonna go play amazon or i'm gonna go buy some spy puts oh i'm going to buy some time because i know it's gonna go down how do you know it's gonna go down guys if you're not charting you don't know squat okay so stop gambling stop guessing you need a discipline stick with it okay now you see here we said it might come up there it goes okay whatever whatever you play guys be ready to lose x amount of dollars okay that are not going to hurt you okay what am i talking about okay risk management risk management out of ten dollars how much am i okay with losing okay maybe i'm okay with losing one dollar that means on a hundred dollar trade i'm okay with losing ten dollars okay if you're not okay with losing fifty dollars out of every hundred dollars okay don't let it go past that far guys okay make sure your risk management matches what you are willing to lose okay example got a lot of examples in my other videos okay show you right here 399 was their entry this went all the way up to before it started curling it went up to about 403 talking four dollars okay if i'm an experienced trader and i bought 100 shares that's 400 dollars i made okay now i'm gonna set my stop loss a dollar away just in case that means I lose $100, okay? I'm okay with that. If I'm playing with $1,000, okay, and I'm doing options, same thing. If I'm going to buy two um, puts or two calls, right, with SPY, okay, maybe I get 10 entries out of a 1,000, okay? But if you're doing shares, here's your entry. You see it never came back down here, okay? And that's what happens with the cloud, guys, that check that out see that entry there okay it hasn't come up here that's one dollar away so the entry was 407.98 okay and 408.98 it's right around there where my stop loss is at okay okay hasn't even come close to it okay now how do i know that's going to work out like that okay let me show you again entries here from here to here, it never came back up. One dollar. Look at that. So that's a win. This one as well. It went up. It didn't come back down, guys. It kept going up. Okay. So what do you do? Take your profits at one dollar up. Okay. Buy a hundred shares, then sell it when it's a dollar up. You made a hundred bucks. Okay. One hundred bucks there. I short a hundred shares. One hundred bucks there. That's two hundred. I buy a hundred shares sell it at a dollar that's three hundred dollars okay i get out at the curl and i let it ride if you're an experienced trader you know when to go back in if you're a newbie you don't get back in until it flips which it did here okay 407.95 and we are at 406 we passed the one dollar okay that would have been four hundred dollars there and look at this okay resistance okay and it's coming back down it was super red and some people would have got out and said oh my god i'm down 300 dollars. let me get the heck out nope not here brother all right here we go boom entry right there okay 405.39 check this out the trade never came back up one dollar so if i set my stop loss up here i'm golden okay so that would have been 500 for the day okay another entry here we never went down we went up a dollar that's six hundred dollars then the one up here at the first curl you would have made seven hundred dollars for the day okay now if you don't believe me guys paper trade it go paper trade this okay 
I'm doing this live right now, guys, live on YouTube. Okay. And people are like, what the heck? This thing was green and then it turned super red. And then now it got green again and it's turning red. Okay. What's going on here? And this guy is looking at 905. Yeah, it's 905. But if I see some resistance here where it's not going to go down, guys, then I'll just click the X and it closes the trade. Okay. How do I know this is going to continue to go down? Because I looked at VIX. I looked at the RSI. I have a measured move here. And remember, we had the MACD flip. That's one of the great things you get with this indicator. You don't have to go add the MACD. You don't have to uh, close this window and go open the other one or have it smaller, shrunk down. Nope. You can see right here, my MACD is orange when it goes down. My MACD is green when it's going up. And we're back in the consolidation zone. Like I told you, your consolidation is not going to be perfect. We started it here. And I can move it up here. This whole area is consolidation, okay? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter as long as you understand that the stock is going sideways, okay? Now, at some point, you might say, hey, look, I'm a newbie. Uh, I don't like what's going on. I just got in the room. I'm trading, and it's 3.30. I'm just going to take my profits. Guys, take your profits. 33 bucks, 46 bucks. You see what's going on right here? I'll take it. I will take that quick. Because if I do that 10 times a day, that's a nice chunk of change. So you can't tell yourself, hey, uh, I got to wait till it comes down here. If you're an advanced trader, you know how to do this and wait. Okay. That also means that you have some reward money. What does that mean? That means that you've won enough where you can afford a loss here and there. Okay. If I win eight out of 10 times, okay. And we're talking $100. That means I'll make 800 for the day. Okay. And I lost 200. Okay. Out of a thousand dollars. Okay. You kept eight. You lost two. Okay. Wow. What a great day, right? Eight out of 10. You tried 10 times and you lost only twice. Guys, if you do it correctly, stick with one to two stocks, okay? Look at your stocks daily. You have to study the stock. You have to study the measured moves on it or else this is not going to work. Oh, and by the way, we never made it up here. Look at this. What? $318. Are you kidding me? Guys, this is easy. My recommendation is you start with paper trading okay but if you feel you know this well enough and you're going to be in my room with me cool let's do it i will guide you guys i will guide you and i'm going to recommend you start small guys 10 shares every trade look at that 500 dollars. okay take 500 dollars a day and see what happens okay look at that and this is a measured move Okay, this is what I said is going to happen. Now, should I wait for 900? Nah, probably not. 500 is cool, right? What if I can afford to wait? Okay, well, you got to make some decision at some point, guys. So it's really easy. This is what I tell everybody. If it's green, get out. Okay, don't ever wonder, whoa, should I let it go down? Should I let it go more? It could go to a thousand. Yes, this is probably going to make it down here or it could turn around a little bit like it did here and start eating up some of those profits. But we talked about the measured move, guys. Sometimes this is going to go 50% of what I expected. I'll get out at 50%. But if I know it's going to come down here, I'll set that take profit. I'll walk away sometimes and go grab some water go outside, enjoy a little wind and sun. Okay. But I'm not going to sit there and be worried on something that I know is a proven tool. Okay. So here we are. It is 337 October 26, guys. Okay. I just made $500 right in front of you. I don't even want to show you what I made for the rest of the day over here, guys. Okay. 
I worked on this indicator forever. And what I tell you guys is I do the heavy lifting guys. $1 a day, you get this plus courses plus you get me in a chat room, guys. If you're an experienced trader and you just want the indicator, all right, cool, I'll give it to you. It's $9.99 a month, or you can save some money and just pay $99 a year, okay? And you're gonna get 10 videos, 10 videos that show you how to do this, okay? And this is an additional one. This is a bonus one, guys, okay? So please feel free to rewind this guys go back and forth and learn this okay understand the things i talked about measured move the wedge macd consolidation areas okay measured move down taking profits all that good stuff and the resistance area where the stock is not gonna go okay rewind this learn it okay but if you got a dollar a day guys okay that comes to about $365 a year. It's way cheap to do this. Okay. Super cheap because losing $3,000. Okay. Is worse. Don't wait to lose $3,000 guys. Okay. Invest in your trading education. This is education. Okay. This is not financial advice. I'm not telling you NVIDIA is the greatest company and I want you to invest and hold for 10 years. No, if you're a day trader, swing trader, okay. You need this indicator. You need the visual, just like when you're driving down the street, guys. Okay. Red light tells you something, right? Cool. That's what this tells you here. Hey, time to get out. Stop loss or green light. Let's go. We're going to make some money. Okay. And you can see this stock is continuing down. Now, I'm going to go ahead and end the video, guys. This is probably going to finish off. You guys feel free to go check this out at the end of the day. But don't forget, go to bullringtrading.com, bullringtrading.com, guys, and click on specials, and you will find the $1 deal. Don't forget about that, guys. Let's stay green and wishing you a green day tomorrow, guys. All right, guys, just wanted to tag on another piece of this video to show you guys how NVIDIA ended up for the day. And I took all the candles out so you can understand how these clouds work, okay? So you can see on each one, red meaning short, green meaning long. And if you're playing options, I'm buying puts here. I'm buying calls here, okay? And you can see for the day, there was 12 entries, guys, 12 entries, okay? So let's take a look at what 12 entries mean, okay? So we said 100 shares, shorting them or buying them, okay? Let's say I did 100 for each entry, and I've had an 87% win ratio, guys, times 0.87, means I made 1,044 for the day. Now, we did talk about this here, okay? This was our rising wedge. We had the measured move down, okay? And you guys saw how much I made on that trade. Now, I tell you, you start low, okay? Even if you want to start with money, I recommend paper trade first. Get some practice on how to get in, how to get out, guys, okay? And I'm gonna show you, okay? I don't go in with 100. I go in with a little bit more, but you can see each entry, had a nice success rate for the day. And now here you see on the upper right hand corner, guys, this is me for the day, okay? Uh, ended up a little over 1400, unrealized 2340. Okay, this is stuff I held over because I know what's going to happen with the stock market. How do I know that? Because I chart it every day and charts don't lie. If we're in a downtrend, guys, it lasts for X amount of time. Watch my videos and I'll show you how to understand how far down stocks are gonna go down. But you can do this, guys. It's not hard. Like I said, $1 a day, okay? See you on the next video.